Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be discussing some common beginner level interview questions for Power Apps. I will provide answers and insights to help you prepare for your next interview. So before proceeding with the questions, I just want to give you some disclaimer that these interview questions which I am discussing in this video is only for educational purpose on this may vary not be that like you cannot expect the same exact question in your actual interview so the purpose of this interview is to provide general understanding of the concepts and the topics related to power apps and not to provide specific interview questions so i encourage you to do your own research and preparation for interviews you you may get similar questions like this okay so let us go the first question what is power app and how uh, are they used okay so basically uh, power app is a suite of low code no code tools developed by microsoft that will allow user to build custom business application with minimal coding knowledge so it is like an application development okay but you don't want to do like previously we used to write an android we used to develop an app in various uh, various uh, IDEs or various language using some tool. You have to write the complete code over there. But here in Power App, you no need to be a computer professional. Okay, so even if your background is civil engineering or chemical engineering, whatever it may be, you know, you don't want to be a computer science uh, a student. You can easily learn this Power Apps because it's of low code, no code, and you can simply drag and drop all the elements to use it they are used to create custom apps that can automate business process manage data and connect to various data sources so this is how exactly the power app is used so some of the benefits of power apps include this ability to integrate with other microsoft products its ease of use and its ability to create mobile friendly apps so you can answer like this so the next one is the question to what are the different types of power apps Okay, so we have actually two types of power apps. You can create uh, two main types of power apps. One is a canvas app and second one is a model driven app. So what is a canvas app? It's a provide a blank canvas application for the user. You can build a custom application from the scratch. Okay, like you can, uh, uh, it will be like a basic thing. Uh, it will be very uh, first level. You can just connect with whatever the data you want. You can uh, import the data. You can do all the UIs, everything. So uh, from the scratch, if you wanted to do, you can go ahead with a canvas app. The second type of power app is what model driven app, which are based on pre-built data models. Okay. It's like a template. Okay. Uh, and provide more structured approach to app development. So that is what the different types of apps two different types of apps we have the third third question is what what is a model driven app and how it is different from a canvas app since i told you have two types of app right look one is a canvas and second one is a mo model driven so a model driven app is based on pre-built data model it has its own data model which is used to uh, like you can easily create and manage complex app with a structured data okay whereas canvas app on the other hand provide a blank canvas for, of the user for the user to build a custom app from the scratch if it is a canvas app you have to start working you have to do everything by yourself okay and the fourth question is how do you connect power apps to a different data source so um you can connect power apps to a various data source using a connector okay in in power app we will call everything as a connector for example uh, one drive it's a connector sharepoint is a connector so uh, you can connect through a various data source using a connector which provides a pre-built integration with the popular services like sharepoint excel dynamics 365 almost all the microsoft related products and also a third party that like, you can even connect with other uh, um, uh, connectors as well like google gmail so g drive or anything and you can also create custom connectors to connect connect to other services okay so that is also possible and uh, if you talk about the question five that is what are collections in power apps and how they are used 
ओके सो कलेक्शन इन पावर एप्स आर टेम्पररी टेबल्स यूज टू स्टोर डेटा इन मेमरी ओके सिंस आई टॉक वी टॉक अबाउट द डेटा कनेक्टर्स ओके द डेटा कनेक्टर्स इन द सेंस यू कैन कनेक्ट विद द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा लाइक एक्सेल शेयर पॉइंट वन ड्राइव एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा बट यू शू ऑल्सो नो अबाउट द कलेक्शन इंस्टेड ऑफ स्टोरिंग समथिंग बैक टू अ डेटा दैट इज इंस्टेड ऑफ स्टोरिंग समथिंग बैक टू अ वन ड्राइव और अ शेयर पॉइंट और एनीथिंग so how can you store the data locally in the mobile in your power app itself like uh, that is what which is a temporary table if you want to store the data in the memory so the collections can be used to store data retrieved from the data source even if you wanted to store the data which is already retrieved from the data source as well as the calculated data if you wanted to use often why we need a temporary table because we don't want to uh, create a huge uh, memory for that and simply we just wanted to create okay we wanted to access the data so you can use the collections which is to store your data uh, uh, in the uh, as a temporary tables okay so uh, and or often use in combination with the formulas and create dynamic app experience so if you wanted to uh, uh, if you wanted to enjoy the dynamic app experience then you can uh, use the collections okay so if you are very new to computer science concept so you may have this confusion like what is a temporary table so temporary tables are the type of database table that is used to store data temporarily during the execution of the specific task or session so they are created and destroyed within the context of the specific session the data stored in them is not persistent beyond that session okay that is what the temporary table so this temporary table can be created with the help of a collections in in power app okay so uh, what are the skills and expected uh, expectations by the interviewer so interviewer with these questions are likely to looking for a candidates with a strong understanding of what is a power app and what is the basic concepts of a power app and uh, it may be like what is the interest uh, uh, like how the candidates have the experience with the other microsoft products such as power bi power automate so they may also ask like what is power bi or power automate so we will also think uh, we will also talk about uh, some more questions on beginner level of power app and even if you wanted to know about the intermediate level or advanced level of the power app questions so please leave your com comments i will definitely help you out whatever i know so If you want to prepare prepare for the power up uh, interview, so I recommend you to review the power up documentation, which is provided to you by provided to us by Microsoft Learn itself. Okay, and uh, thank you for watching this video on beginner level of interview questions and power up. If you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more informative content. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I will do my best to respond it to you. Thank you. Take care.